Very good morning to all the participants. Myself, Dr. Saurabh Sharma, welcome you all to this webinar organized by our Bayer College, Bijnor. The theme of today's webinar is Regulated Deficit Irrigation (RDI), a water conservation study. Our today's eminent speaker is Dr. Yasheshwar from Department of Botany, Acharya Narayan Dev College, Delhi University, Delhi. Dr. Yasheshwar is having around 20 years of teaching experience. His area of specialization is plant physiology and phytochemistry. Dr. Sisfar has many publications and presentation in various national and international journals of repute and seminars. Sir is also working as director of NAC, IQAC coordinator of the college and Pramers coordinator of UGC team. Now, I request Dr. Sisfar sir to start their presentation. Sir, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, Welcome, at sir. the outset, uh, I'm audible to all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Vivek Group of College, Bijnor, and welcome. Uh, and I, I would like to uh, thank Dr. O. P. Gupta, Director, Mr. Amit Goel, Chairman, Mr. Mittal, Secretary, Mr. D. K. Agrawal, Treasurer, uh, Dr. Saurabh Sharma, Principal. Dr. S. K. Tyagi, Principal, and Dr. Hitesh Sharma, Court Coordinator, Dr. Meena Chaudhary, HOD, uh, Faculty of Science, uh, Dr. Satha Gupta, Assistant Professor, Computer Science. And uh, I also uh, uh, give uh, express my special thanks to the uh, all the students who are the future of this uh, uh, nation. So, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, let's begin our presentation. Uh, today, uh, we will have uh, a small understanding about regulated deficit irrigation, which is a water conservation strategy. As this term uh, indicates, that uh, deficit means the shortage of uh, uh, water supply irrigation is related to the water supply in the in the uh, agriculture field and the regulated means the controlled supply of uh, uh, water uh, that could be taken into account for a water conservation strategy uh, before going into the detail of all scientific complexity and all, I would like to brush up the memories of uh, our students. Uh, as we all know that the climate change or the climate variability or deterioration, that uh, affects precipitation or, or rainfall. And uh, water stress plant experience when there is an excess of water. When plenty of the water uh, we have example flood flood situation and next when there is a deficit of water when uh, we talk about the arid or the semi arid reason and when both these stresses what happens that reduces the agriculture productivity so uh, let's see uh, uh, there is a uh, this line indicating the soil surface and underneath we have the root system and uh, there are soil particles surrounded with the water that is soil solution and psi w psi w friends uh, this is a, a water potential and you can understand this thing as the as if the we are talking about the amount of water in the cell uh, of, of of the root then the psi w of soil solution the psi w the, the, the plant job is to uh, lower the water potential as compared to the uh, water potential outside the cell. In such condition, water will come in. And that pro process we all know as endosmosis. And in such condition, the uh, uh, plant will be hap in, a, in a happy mood and that will uh, have a good growth and development. So job of the plant is to uh, reduce water potential. This is the point we can take home. So uh, if a condition gets reversed, 
in such condition exosmosis will takes place then water potential if gets high in the root as compared to its surrounding then exosmosis will take place and plant don't want this things to happen so in order to prevent that secondary metabolites are produced uh isko is tarike se hum samajhte hain ke secondary metabolites ek tarike ke solutes hain jo ki defense mechanism mein plants ke kaam aayenge so you uh, you you take because these these secondary metabolites when they are uh, uh, in a in a excess amount in the plant cells they will keep the water potential down as compared to the uh, uh, soil solution so water in in such condition will come in there will be no case of exosmosis and plant will survive and in such condition plant will switch on its defense system by uh, uh, as you know the reactive oxygen species proline citrulline these all are the chemicals these all are the secondary metabolites which are uh accumulated inside the cell and keeps the water potential significantly down as compared to the water potential outside uh so uh if plant is under stress the mood is uh, uh, not good and plant keeps its machinery busy in accumulating these secondary metabolites so that that can uh, defend its system better so uh, if we see these these are the uh, uh, parameters these are the changes taking uh, place outside the plant and when we do the research and at different level we can do the the changes at morphological level then what about the interior of the plant when it gets affected due to water deficit stress or the the physiology of that plant we talk about here the photosynthetic rate is to metal conductance how carbon are sequestered how secondary metabolites are being produced and what pathway they are taking and then there are some biochemical changes as we have discussed earlier uh, like reactive oxygen species they 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 are quenched by the reactive oxygen species enzyme and again uh, then the last part is the molecular level you need to study that so these are the uh, scientific uh, uh, way of conducting the experiment when we are subjecting a plant of this sort of treatment now uh, there is a if you skim the pages of the literature you will find important word in the water uh, agriculture water management that is water use efficiency so uh, then uh, this this efficiency means uh, uh, plant yield per application of water molecule so that will be the water use efficiency and nowadays a different term is used that is the water productivity and do not confuse with this word as the production of water because no scientist can produce a single drop of water it is in terms of the plant yield uh, per unit of water applied to the soil so before we proceed to the uh, slides uh, uh, this suppose uh, we are uh, studying a plant in which the three phases the p1 p2 and the p3 phases and this p1 is the initial phase of the plant p2 when the 50% the plant has uh, uh, emerged the bud bud buds and third stage when plants have 50% produced the flowers so uh, i am taking here is the 100 units of water if we are applying adequate supply of water throughout the different phases p1 p2 p3 and suppose 20 flowers are being produced and in next set of experiment if we are reducing the 100 units by 50% and that is 500 units of the water that is the sustained deficit irrigation we are applying a deficit irrigation and that is reducing the productivity of the plant uh, 10 to 12 flowers and third possibility is the regulated deficit irrigation we are doing here the deficit irrigation but 
at a particular stage we need to find out which developmental phase is important for the plant and that stage we will supply the uh, water uh, in 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 adequate amount and rest of the stage we will keep them in the deficit stage and by doing that we can save or conserve plenty amount of water and suppose the productivity comes 18 to 20 flasks that is similar to the uh, application of the adequate supply of water so that way we can conserve the water and this is all about this is all about the concept of regulated deficit irrigation and you have must uh, you must have heard about the drip irrigation and the partial root drying system drip irrigation the, the plant will receive the uh, amount of the water drop by drop with the same concept of the Sambinathan, there's more crops we need to produce per drop of water. So uh, now we can frame our statement as far as the regular deficit irrigation is concerned. It is a strategy to use water economically, judiciously, judiciously and uh, uh, prudently in areas where water availability is low in order to reduce the water loss deficit irrigation is an effective strategy for maximum commercial gains. So uh, now we proceed to our, our research part wherein we use the pressure plate method before applying the regulated deficit irrigation. The soils were collected from the different uh, uh, depth and this is the apparatus that we, we took from the Water Technology Center IARI through which we can uh, uh, calculate the uh, soil moisture characteristics curve. So the different uh, bars of pressure is given uh, to the soil and the water comes out. Because of uh, this, we can calculate the water holding capacity of soil. So before... Uh, 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 putting the plants in the nursery or the greenhouses, uh, plantlets are developed and these are the varieties we took in our research and we took the system, the marigold, uh, the uh, uh, ganda in Hindi uh, was taken, the different varieties of this uh, plant were taken into account. And this is the parameters by which uh, uh, we can uh, see the, the changes or the classify the different variety of the plant in terms of their color. Uh, this is very standard uh, way of getting uh, the information uh, as far as scientific approach is concerned. Then how to determine the morphophysiological and biochemical responses of selected genotype when they are exposed to RDI level. So uh, First of all, you need to know that first, uh, the moderate deficit irrigation or the severe deficit irrigation given to the ornamental plant that is marigold in our, in our case. And these plants were subjected to phase wise as we discussed in uh, our early slide that phase wise means in, in different developmental phases, the plants was water as controlled treatment in three different phases. As we have discussed the phase one, the initial or the vegetative phase initiation of flower buds and after flowering to end of flowering P3. During all the experiments, were uh, plants were watered 50% of uh, control DIE 50. So this is the water holding capacity uh, of the plant which were calculated on the basis of uh, the, uh, the results we found uh, through the moderate deficit irrigation and severe deficit irrigation. And then they, these uh, these uh, phase wise treatment was given the phase one and the phase two were limited with di50 treatment and rdi treatment was given at phase two based on the as and the soil moisture characteristic curve of the test soil so rdi treatment that that depends upon uh, 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 the different variety the soil type or uh, the climatic condition. So there are so many, even the depth of the plant, the, the, the growth of the root, 
so scientists are doing the many part the 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 engineers in physics they are studying the root analysis the spread of the root and relating that to how they can conserve water and rather than supplying or uh, giving the water uh, unnecessarily to the land and that way they are avoiding the surface irrigation uh, so uh, let's see some of the results uh, effect of rdi and deficit irrigation at 50 so this uh, this is the uh, uh, plant that is the erecta the pusa narangi geda vertical lines indicates irrigation changes in different developmental phases as we have discussed the number of the plant the focal point of the slide is that when we give the control treatment and rest of the treatment uh, to the different phases uh, or the deficit irrigation then we found that uh, the the flower number per plant was significantly in agreement with the rdi or in agreement with the control and uh, when we uh, study uh, the different parameter like flower diameter the, the result was same similarly with the, the photosynthesis this is this is an important parameter when plant senses uh, water stress then aba hormone that is the abscisic acid is uh, uh, synthesized and that goes through the plumbing system of the plant that is through xylem and that reaches to the cell and tell the cell that you need to close your stomata because your root is sensing water stress because we know the transpiration rate will have will take place through stomata and the gaseous exchange will takes place through uh, this particular gate so when amount of the co2 uh, to get in for the photosynthesis due to the past part due to the partial opening of the stomata will will go down such so certainly that will affect the photosynthetic rate but we observed that judicious application of the deficit irrigation in terms of the regulated deficit irrigation they were in agreement with the control and as we see the sustained development sustained irrigation deficit irrigation was given and that was reducing the the uh, photosynthetic rate now the next parameter is the electrolyte leakage so uh, the first line of defense that is the cell membrane and if plant is experience uh, uh, more stress than this uh, 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 membrane will get little leaky and electrolyte will come out and that could be major as one of the important biochemical parameter so as we see as we are uh, uh, subjected the plant to the deficit irrigations in in different phases we find electrolyte leakage is increasing but there is little uh, there is a change as for the rdi and the control treatment but that was not uh, uh, important as we uh, uh, take into account uh, when we talk about uh, uh, the uh, flower uh, number or the flower diameter so superoxide dismutase this is one of the important as we discussed earlier that uh, uh, defense mechanism so uh, uh, plant will experience there are increased number of superoxide or reactive oxygen species for my students uh, i i i must uh, tell them that uh, uh, when plant will come under stress then some of the uh, important uh, uh, metabolites are produced in great amount like uh, uh, h2o2 uh, like oh ions light uh, uh, like the oxygen ion that is super oxide and to quench those reactive oxygen species there are some enzymatic system so we we are we have taken here the super oxide that was dismutated by this enzyme this is super oxide dismutase and uh, different phenological phases when we applied the rdi you see you can see the sustained deficit irrigation uh, in the in the middle phase it's showing uh, the increase of superoxide dismutase but uh, the superoxide dismutase enzyme when we applied regulated deficit irrigation is more or less same uh, 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 in comparison to the control 
So in fact, uh, we see a different plant that was the patula plant in which we uh, take into account the morphology part, the plant height, uh, then uh, the number of flowers of this. This is the same result as we have discussed with the Pusa Narangi Genda and uh, the, the flower diameter. Similar results were obtained and uh, electrolyte leakage in such cases. Also, the uh, sustained deficit irrigation is increasing the, the electrolyte leakage and leads to cell death. And uh, uh, electrolyte leakage in, in, in RDI, it is more or less same as compared to the adequate supply of water. Effect of RDI on the proleases is an important parameter when, when we, we uh, uh, would like to uh, understand about uh, uh, the uh, susceptibility or the resistance of the plant. So this is an important parameter, the proline content. Uh, so the proline con uh, content increased uh, when uh, deficit irrigation with 50% uh, field capacity uh, was given to the plant, but that was not significantly increased as compared to the uh, control or the RDI treatment. Then catalase, similar results as we have discussed in the uh, SOD. So now uh, we have uh, uh, understood about when secondary metabolites are increased. So they give, uh, give us the indication that plant system is busy in some other pathway by which secondary metabolites are uh, increasing and water potential of the plant is uh, lowered by which there is no case of exosmosis. If that approach of the plant, as a, as a uh, pharmacologist, anybody would like to study, that we can, we can, we can do the analysis of uh, those volatile principles. It means some of the chemicals we can study through GCM as to what uh, type of chemical is uh, getting high in, in, in stress condition. So uh, we can uh, summarize all that as we took the two important variety, the Tegetus erecta and Patula of uh, Marigold. You see the controlled application of water, the adequate supply of water, the number of the flowers were, this is AA showing the significantly same. Then the RDI, but in the deficit irrigation throughout the phases, throughout the P1, P2 and the P3 phases when we are giving, uh, then there is a significant uh, decline, uh, the severe decline in the number of flowers. Similarly with the flower diameter, Similarly, flower yield, when we uh, take the uh, uh, flower weight in grams, then per plant the flower yield could be calculated. In RDI, that is more or less same, and the stomatal conductance and photosynthetic weight. So some of the parameters, I'm, I'm, I'm not showing all the, all the results. There, there were 20 parameters of the flower, and physiological, there were many parameters. And due to, due to this, uh, this stomatal conductance and the number of flowers on all these parameters, that could be taken into account when we uh, study the shelf life of a ornamental plant. And... Uh, uh, as we move, and this paper we published in the Scientia Horticulture, it's the Elsevier uh, Journal. And uh, so, uh, as we uh, discussed, that this is an important parameter uh, that by which we can uh, take into account the amount of which secondary metabolites has increased under the stress. So, these, this is the uh, overlay chromatogram of the tegetus erecta under RDI and deficit irrigation. So some of the important parameter, you see the alpha pinin, the control that was peak was coming at 0.25, but in RDI it's increasing, but in deficit irrigation, the plant was in uh, under great amount of stress. So this approach could be taken into account for therapeutic uses, for producing, for manufacturing uh, medicines and uh, other parameters. 
so uh, some of the uh, metabolites they have increased their uh, concentration because of the stress so uh, we can conclude this uh, uh, like that uh, phase wise application of deficit irrigation is rdi this is our first report as far as ornamental plants are concerned because these these plants are important when when you need to have the more uh, amount of flower as compared to the foliage or uh, foliage and if suppose we, you want to uh, develop a uh, compact growth to the plant then plant was subjected to deficit irrigation then unnecessary growth vegetative growth doesn't take place the secondary metabolites enhancement is positively correlated with the degree of deficit irrigation invariably for volatile principles flower yield could be maintained through restriction of water supply at early stages or well water condition as at p2 as we have seen in our result and uh, this re these results certainly are of good 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 significance as far as the conservation of the water is concerned and uh, in tagetes species rdi treatment found is an effective water deficit irrigation is not only in maintaining ornamental traits but also enhancing their secondary metabolites which are Uh, uh, being used or which could be used uh, in the perfumery industry or uh, some of the food uh, additives when we uh, uh, plan to uh, manufacture of uh, of uh, plant origin or eco friendly uh, that could be of the commercial gain or the medicinal importance the tagetes species submitted to sustain deficit irrigation should be taken into consideration for their enhancing volatile principle the volatile principle uh, here uh, that pharmacology people uh, must know these are the chemicals volatile this is the language in the phar uh, pharmaceuticals the volatile principle with significant loss of the ornamental attributes therefore scientific studies of floriculture crop under different deficit irrigation strategies need to be extrapolated further to ascertain degree of deficit irrigation and its relation in enhancing secondary metabolites without affecting their ornamental value and addressing challenges related to water deficit irrigation for a particular plant or species will require more experimentation without compromising commercial merit of the study studied plant so whenever we are subjecting a plant uh to deficit irrigation certainly secondary metabolites will produce and if we could take them into account for atherotic use or industrial purpose without uh, compromising the aesthetic or the ornamental value of the plant that will be the great 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 asset and that way we can also conserve <coughs> water uh, uh i i i uh, must uh, take one example of israel as we know in in israel uh, there are uh, uh, scarcity there is a scarcity of water in, in israel and israel scientists actually dictate plan you have to grow this much and that is only done by deficit irrigation they regulated the amount of deficit irrigation to a particular phase of the plant by which uh, they they develop a, a, a special kind of secondary metabolites which is specifically for a industrial purpose for example uh, production of wine where grapes are used then uh, to to produce a special kind of vi uh, wine uh, there should be a special kind of pericarp on the uh, uh, grape if we will supply adequate amount of water to to grapes that pericarp will not develop so scientist to to have that particular uh, type of uh, uh, wine production they they need to focus on the deficit irrigation the special pericarp come on the uh, on the grapes and that special pericarp is used for the industrial purpose so science 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 has gone uh, to the different level rather than some conventional practices so we need to develop that skill and that's to be transdisciplinary and multidisciplinary 
so so far uh, uh, i have uh, done with this presentation and one important slide which i also make so that uh, uh, that will focus and that will uh, take uh, our students that how we should study uh, in a in a uh, uh, in a different way and, uh, so that we can uh, 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 take all these research uh, to the grassroots level to the micro level for the uh, for the uh, benefit of the mankind suppose uh, crop under uh, so the rainfall and the crop comes under stress stress suppose there is a flood condition or the scarcity of water then yield will go down under that stress then cost prices will be higher than the market price so farmer ko jo lagat mulya hai wo usko market price se nahi mil pa raha hai then farmers income will go down the revenue of the government from agriculture sector will go down then the farmers under stress and the incidence of the farmer suicide will increase and the crime rate that here here we are taken into account the uh, social aspect so uh then the migration will start from village to urban areas then budgetary deficit will increase then policy makers will announce insurance of crops and msp uh, minimum support price and subsidies will be announced for the farmers and the export of our country will go down and the import will increase the more pressure on our economy then if condition get worse then gdp will decline and if such condition will prevail so long then that is a indeed a danger for the government so uh, this this the motto of this slide is that we should not be like the uh, 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 the person who is just living in its cocoon that on the botanist so here you see the, this is the climatology geography and the single drop of the water and how these all things are interrelated with each other so from the single drop of the water how damage that can do if the policy and the judicious application uh, is not taken into account so uh, this is the the presentation uh, from my side thanks for listening me patiently and i would like to acknowledge uh, my mentor dr anil mishra the from water technology center uh, icar iai new delhi dr said am is department of pharmacognosy pharmacognosy and phytochemistry and certainly the division of floriculture and landscaping iai new delhi thank you all thank you very much sir for this very informative lecture Hello. Thank you very much, sir. So I have to uh, come back to uh, that uh, stop share, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank sir, you, we sir. have received uh, two pleasure. three questions. Uh, first question is from Kuldeep Kumar, CCSU University. Yeah. Why proline is increased? proline concentration is an important parameter when we uh, see that uh, the overall path pathway then all secondary metabolites as as we mentioned the uh, uh, superoxide the proline they they get increased this is an important parameter when we study the susceptibility of the plant as and and we we study the resistant plant so this is an important parameter so if you see the pathway of that certainly you will find that some of the genes get switched on and the production of the pro proline gets up the one question is from richa khanna yeah uh, aba closes the stomata so in what way proline works uh uh if you uh richa ji if you see the uh, physiology of the plant an uh, ab is known as the stress hormone so when plant experiences uh, stress the first contact of the plant uh, to the soil water is uh, is the uh, root system so uh, uh 
the when plant experiences that stress, then signal through the ABA goes. There is a, there is a whole mechanism of the signal introduction that sends the signal through the leaf because the leaf has this stomata and that needs to be closed because plant is sensing stress. So we need to close our gate. So this is uh, this is the important part. Thank you all. Sir, any any uh, other questions, sir? No questions, sir. <laughs> Thanks all for listening me patiently and uh, uh, this, this was really a, indeed a very good experience for me. Thank you. I express my thanks. sincere thanks to all the participants also for listening us carefully. On behalf of entire science department, I am thankful to all the members of management committee for providing necessary facilities. Thank you Dr. Hitesh and Engineer Sarthak for technical support. I am also thankful to the sir for this very informative and valuable lecture. It's it's my pleasure, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank, 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 thank you all. You Have all. a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.